we keep records, so we keep evidence of things that happened in the past. In terms of mental health nursing, I think that's quite important because you can see how mental health nursing has changed over the ages. And we keep the records because we want to use them, we want people to be able to access them. And we use them in learning and teaching and we also use them um, for public engagement activities. But people who worked in the mental health service or people who were cared for by the mental health service can also come and look at the records. I think getting the opportunity to look at the archives just, just reignites that little spark of where the profession has, has come from and where it's developed to and how we can use that as a catalyst to continue to, to develop it. Never rest on our laurels, always look to strive to um, develop and improve, but support and enable others at the same time to do that. So I think you can learn from the past, both in terms of making sure that you don't make the mistakes that were made in the past, but also understanding some of the good things like the sense of community that you sometimes found in, in hospitals. Just the basic idea that the people that you're looking after are people and they have their own stories to tell. We're the enablers, we're the ones that support people to, with tools and techniques. You know, fundamentally I'm a nurse and, the, and the, some of the traditions that we need to uphold of, of compassion, of care, of, of the sophisticated um, ability just to have a blether with somebody that is actually treatment. We found that people who come to look at the records, um, whether they're people who have received mental health care or people who have been nurses or social workers, have found a different way to think about what they're doing. So perhaps they've been inspired by somebody's stories or perhaps they've, they've recognised something in the past that, that helps them to think about what they're doing in a different way. And I think that really is the power of the archives that we hold, is that they really can change how people think about today and, and, and maybe the care that we take forward into the future. We've got to continually evolve and develop and don't want to be looking back at 2018 50, 60, 70 years down the line thinking, well, that wasn't so good. We want to be creating the excellence today for our, for our future um, nurses and, and attracting them, attracting future nurses in the profession with the same values as well. One of the things that I think is really important about archives is that they give you a, a set of memories and those memories are part of what creates an identity for for mental health service in Tayside or for the people who are involved in that and it's that sense of identity that I think binds us together as a community and one of the things that I've found about working with mental health service users or staff with the archives and with nursing students is that they can really foster a sense of community and, and by doing that I think we, we have a really good chance of, of moving forward in a positive way.